Hello and welcome to the Seasiders Preview Show. I'm Jed Mills and I'm pleased to welcome into the studio today former pool man Neil Erdley. Uh, Neil, uh, welcome to the show. Uh, first of all, welcome to uh, well, welcome back to the club in a, in, a, in a new coaching role. Tell us more about that. Yeah, thanks, Jed. Um, it's been great. Obviously, um, not been in the building sort of for too long up to this point, but. Um, the staff and everyone around has been great with me in terms of making me feel welcome, as have the players. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm really enjoying it and obviously uh, we've got a good group of lads that, that, that we're working hard with because ultimately, you know, we want to see them out here uh, one day. So, you know, we're all pulling in the right direction with that. Um, and yeah, it's, it's been great so far. Has it always been a, an ambition of, of yours Is it when you were playing to, you know, when you were thinking about maybe stopping playing to just go into that coaching managerial role? Uh, yeah, it was something that I was always keen on. Um, and I, luckily for me, I was around, uh, pl played with a lot of lads, a lot of experienced players throughout my years that sort of put me on that path in terms of getting getting your quals done and your badges. And um, ha having done that, you know, towards the back end of my playing days, uh, you know, it's put me in a good position uh, going forward. Uh, on the coaching side so yeah you know like I said I'm, I'm new to it but I'm learning all the time and uh, I'm really looking forward to the journey. And a few of the lads from the team when you were here they've gone into that coaching mould, one here as well isn't he, Stephen Dobby, and does that help in that relationship that you've you know you've played together maybe you know each other's styles and, and what you want it helps with the, the two squads that you've got? Yeah uh, you know uh, obviously me and Dolbs played together here and uh, we spent some really good times here as players uh, and now obviously being on the other side of it um, it obviously helps you know with me coming into the building and knowing him uh, and just getting a feel for you know how things are going day to day and you know Dobes has been has been great with me uh, up to this point and he and the type of man he is, the type of fella he is, he'll continue to do that and we'll try and bounce off each other and, and help each other out on that side of things and uh, you know, it's all about, like you said, you know, getting some lads from the 18s into that uh, into that development group, uh, and then hopefully, you know, you know, with a bit of luck and uh, some hard work along the way, they'll be out here one day. Yeah, I mean, for you, what is that sort of under 18s looking like? You know, you've only just come in, but initially, there's a level of excitement. I don't want you to name any names of pressure, but do you, is there a few that you think? Oh, yeah, you know they've got a bit about them. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, I, th I think on that I, w I was lucky enough, um, you know, last season to come in on a few occasions, uh, you know, with the help of uh, of Kieran Donnelly and, and Matt Blinkhorn, and obviously Murph when he was here, uh, being allowed to sort of come in and, and be around it whenever I could be because that's great. That was great for me and my learning. Um, so I sort of knew some of the lads anyway prior to coming into the building. Um, and like I touched on before, there's some really good lads in there, you know, with a lot of talent. Uh, so it's about trying to help them develop now. Uh, and I think myself and Dobes have been in that position when we were that age. And I would like to think that I can really sort of resonate with the lads, not just on the pitch, but but off it as well and, and try and help them as, as much as we can uh, to, you know, further their careers and, and go on and, and do really well. But that the, there is lads in there that, that have got a lot of ability. So, uh, so long as they continue to show a good attitude uh, every day and come in uh, with the same, you know, drive and, and work, work ethic as what we have, that they'll have a good chance. Do you show them clips of yourself? Say, oh, this, is, this was me, this is what you're gonna get. <laughs> yeah, we, we, have a li we have a little laugh and a joke about that sometimes. Um, a couple of them have already mentioned a couple of, well, the very rare, goals that I scored <laughs> uh, in my playing days and uh, we you know we have a bit of a laugh and a joke and a bit of banter around that so that's that's obviously great you know you want to build relationships with him but uh, yeah if they ever need showing anything then I'll <laughs> you've show got them. the clip <laughs> what about you know reflecting on your time here obviously you've gone into coaching now but just playing side here at the football club just a reflection on on your time here it was the best best years of of my playing career without a shadow of a doubt um you know, coming from coming from Oldham, at, I think I was 20 years old at the time. Uh, I felt like it was a good step for me in my career, uh, stepping up a level in terms of League One to the Championship, uh, and and trying to test myself and prove myself in at, at the level above. And you know, within the space of 18 months, 
from League One to, to Premier League. Yeah. You know, I don't think anybody, um, any, I think you could probably ask any fan or anyone that was associated with the football club probably didn't expect it. Uh, but we had such a good group of players and a good group of staff at that time and uh, you know we, we we all enjoyed uh, you know what was an unbelievable you know few years and uh, like I said from a from a playing perspective for me th those were those were the best times that I had as a player and you know I'll always look back on them with with fond memories and now I've been given the opportunity to to come back on the on the coaching side at a club that, that's always been close to me and where I enjoyed some of my playing days is obviously fantastic. Great.